In this video, I want to talk about your clothing for your wire sculpture. So first, I want you to take a look at a pattern, and I've got several here that I want to show you. This particular pattern is a long sleeve or short sleeve shirt. Um, if you take a look at this, the X's, and there's a little key up here, so the, the dotted lines mean that it's a fold line and the X's means that it's a sew or stitch line. So what we've done is we have made this as simple as possible so that really you're dealing with trying to deal with fewer pieces of fabric and you can use anything. I have seen students use um, cut pieces of paper for clothing. I've seen people use tape. I saw one person who figured out how to cut a sock, a spare sock that was lying around the house that didn't have a match and they use that to create clothing. Um, I've seen duct tape, I have seen um, cardboard being used, and I would suggest taking a look at the figures in the PowerPoint again to get some suggestions. But I just want to share it with you. This is a cut piece from, the, some, from some felt. And you might be looking at this going, how, in the, how the heck is that going to become a long sleeve shirt? So if I take this, and this is the opening for my head, and I were to fold this, so if you see the fold line right here, and I were to fold this in half, do you see how you would have a long sleeve shirt? So then you would just be stitching under in the side and under in the side. Now the reason we made it long sleeve is because if you want it to be three quarter, then you just trim the sleeves. If you want it to be a t-shirt, you trim even shorter. So that is the long sleeve or short sleeve, three quarter sleeve top. The next one that I want to share with you is the pants. Again, this looks a little funny. In fact, this kind of looks a little bit more like a shirt. However, if we think about this, um, where's the pants? Again, we have the fold line right here. So if we take this and we were to fold this in half, you can see that you're stitching down the side and you're stitching up in between the legs. Again, if you don't want pants and you want, say, capris, you can cut shorter. Or if you want shorts, you can cut even shorter than that. So we left it long so that you could determine what length you would like. So there's the pants. We've also created, um, for the girls, we've created a sleeveless top. Boys, you might like this too, especially if you want to do a sports jersey. So again, here's the top. I'm folding over. The neck is going to fit in here. Um, and then you're just stitching down the sides here, right? This little corners would be the, where the arms go through. For a skirt, you have something that looks like this. Again, you're folding and you're just stitching on one side. Now, I do not have a pattern. I did not cut any fabric or um, felt to show you this next one. Notice that all of these here, you're only cutting one piece and we're folding it. This next one, you need to cut two pieces. So this would be a dress. And again, left it long so that you're gonna cut two and if you want the dress to be straight, you would just cut it more narrow. If you want it to be like, instead of a long dress, if you want it to be like a T-length dress, then you would shorten it up. If you want it to be a shorter dress, you could shorten it up even further. So all of that is up to you. So those are some ways that you can use the pattern pieces to create clothing for your wire sculpture. Again, there are lots of different ways you can create clothing that don't deal with a pattern and don't deal with fabric. So be creative and start searching the house for those fabulous found materials. 